Hello people, CK here. This video I either get posted literally on the Halloween, even though I posted a couple hours ago, or the next day, on the 1st of is it November. Don't know what's after October. Pretty bad with dates. But yeah, I just wanted to um, talk about Dragon Age Veilguard and um, just how good it is. I really loved it. For me, it's possibly my game of the year now. And I played Black Myth, Wukong, and quite a lot of the other games that are released this year. The only game I've not played that's like a contender is like Silent Hill 2, which I'm excited to get round to when I can. It's just more like I'm waiting for a price drop. Like 60 quid's a bit too much for me. But yeah, this game's awesome. It's so good. Um, I also love all the added lore straight away that just comes into the next game. I don't want to give too much spoilers just because even though it is for the first hour, I kind of want everybody who is a big Dragon Age fan to just be able to play it and super enjoy it. You know, something about the airplane. Someone wants to fly out at like nine o'clock. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to do this video mainly, um, you know, because obviously I've said my thoughts there, I'm really enjoying it. Combat's great, even though we're not doing any tack down, you know, tactile, you know, decisions making stuff like that. The combat's really fun. I'm playing as a tank at the moment. And honestly, it's so fun. Um, defending at the right time, attacking, using combos, the abilities are really awesome. Um, so awesome really and i've been playing as keyboard instead of the console so it's been quite nice oh my god focus camera <laughs> but yeah this this is just awesome the character companions we've seen so far really awesome the graphics on my end have been really really good um i would recommend everyone to install the update on nvidia just so you don't have to download the shaders again because you have to do have to do that the first time which people have been freaking about on steam about the first time is oh i got to do i got to download shaders one out of ten thumbs down it's just like grow up you've had to do that for black myth with kong and all sorts of games this year and now you just want to find a thing to wage whinge about also as well there's been a few people on, on steam and reviews and that with 20 minutes on their time yeah, I've been looking at the, at the timer, mate. And you're saying it's a terrible story when you spend 10 minutes of that time with the shaders loading because that's how long it takes for the first time. And you've gotten freaking out. Like 10 minutes and you managed to get all the story of this game. I'm sorry, it takes at least about 50 minutes or 40 minutes just to do the actual prologue, which is already awesome and cinematic and, and just has so many great scenery. As well, I also want to talk about the people that have been going about the graphics. Are you on drugs or something like that? Are you actually on fucking drugs? And you know, I'm sorry for swearing, YouTube, but are you actually fucking demented in the head? These people just going mental at this. You know what I mean? I'm going to go at the graphics and it's like, like, seriously, you just show yourself what you are, you rage-baiting little wankers. And I'm sorry for people getting annoyed and that. I just don't like these people that just want to just hate on shit. And also as well, just, just using the word woke for anything. Like, do you even know what woke means, you absolute fucking idiots? Woke used to mean when a company would use, like, whether it's like a... Well, that is a good example. When Disney used, you know, Finn, the character Finn for the sequels, on every single poster and YouTube thing, hinting it was going to be a Jedi and a big character in the, in the series... And you know, using him big on posters and that. And then when it came for the Chinese release for the poster, they shrunk him and made him in a background character. That's what woke is. It's when a company, sorry for the whole hint, I'm just getting angry and I'm moving out of focus. But yeah, that's when a company, in fact, let me just turn this on. Yeah. So that's when a company would use a character, you know, whether it's a color, race, or gender, stuff like that, just to get extra tickets in or people viewing or people going oh look at me that's what woke is not any sort of company or a tv show or anything like that that tries to be open and actually give choices to people which frankly dragon age has been doing that since dragon age origins they've been doing that for years they even did that all the way back into planescape torment and things like that and the fact that people want to use the word woke just to hate it straight away. Grow up. Honestly, grow up. Just just stop it, really. Stop just using the, word, the term woke to cover up for being either a racist or an ignorant transphobe or homophobic wanker. Really? That's woke? Try learning what actual woke means or getting a fucking dictionary. I'm getting sick of it. And especially the rage baiters who want to make videos going, oh, it's woke. Woke! And just put the caption woke with a thumbnail on it. Grow the fuck up. 
and actually acts like a grown-up instead of some teenager. You know what's a perfect example of that? I'm autistic, so I can say this, right? How the term, you know what I mean, when people used to call people retards, it's been switched to, oh, autistic, or oh, autism. Oh, I've got autism. Yeah, I had to hear enough of that shit. You don't hear me moaning about it or anything like that. But I just want to bring it up because it's just childish fucking teenager shit like that. Like, oh, you know, you know, you're on fucking cod or something like that. Going, oh, I'm just having an autism moment. Like, grow the fuck up. Jesus Christ. What's the, what's the English vocabulary about? And I know I'm swearing, but you know what? That's called use of the full vocabulary of the English language. So, yeah, I just want to have a blast off of those dickheads. Um, what I will say is what you could criticize in this game is there's no two-handed swords. Where are the two-handed swords? That's the thing to criticize. You could maybe, if you're a big fan of um, Dragon Age Inquisition's open map, you could criticize that. But for me, it was a huge improvement because even though Dragon Age Inquisition got game of the year, that's my least liked Dragon Age game just because it was filled with filler quests filled with open planscapes where you'd just be spending hours wasting your time doing collectibles or requisition orders or doing those stupid star shard crap where you'd have a hundred of the bastard things. So yeah, I think it's a big improvement. But here's something that you could criticise about is that there's no tactile top-down strategy anymore. You can't just command your things, stuff like that. But that has slowly been gone since Dragon Age Origins. So... You could use that critique for every single other game when it comes to it's not Dragon Age enough, even Dragon Age Inquisition. And especially when the fact is, half the classes in those games, you could solo the game with. Whether it's Rogue and that time fucking bottle one, where you like smashing bottles every couple of minutes. Well, not really smashing bottles, just two abilities, which you could attach to the thing going B, A, B, A, and just smash that through and just attack. Or you got um, Dragon Age 2 where you had to manually... Where is the goddamn control to do this? Where you were just pressing this. And, it, and just pressing that every single minute. Every single minute. So yeah, um, I would show gameplay here, but I am going to do a Let's Play of it. So if you want to see that, you know, tune into the channel. But this is really just me blasting off at all these rage-baiting wankers who just want to crap on a game before it's even come out and leave Steam reviews when it clearly shows the time you've actually played, you absolute nitwits. And it's going to be people going, crashes, crashes. Yeah, that's a hardware issue. That's a hardware issue, my, my guy. A hardware issue. So, yeah, it's just stupid. One guy had 10 minutes on, right, and said it's not Dragon Age enough for me. What the fuck? <laughs> what, in, what in the fuck? 10 minutes. You found that after 10 minutes. Just stop copying these people you've seen online. Have an actual thought or opinion or some curiosity to actually think, oh, I wonder if I'll like this. I was apprehensive before I played this game because I didn't like Dragon Age Inquisition that much. I, you know, 7 out of 10, I played it all. I loved the story. I loved the companions. Didn't like the actual main content of the whole thing because the combat annoyed me. The, the maps annoyed me. All the filler crap annoyed me. Always loved Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Origins. Loved them both. So I was very apprehensive. And then you had Anthem, which was a big cluster fire of sale of crap. But this surprised me. This was not only a huge return to form. I've not had any crashes with it. The graphics has looked amazing, which you'll see in the actual playthrough that I post on YouTube. Combat's fun and engaging. I may not be able to. I may not be focusing on my companions what they're using, but they're smart enough where I don't have to worry about them, which is way more better than what I used to have to play. You know, in my fa one of my favorite games ever at all time, Dragon Age Origins, where the companions were stupid. You had to manually control them because the AI was daft. But yeah, I'm sorry if it comes across like I'm being aggressive to you, the viewer. I'm just, um, the only people I'm being annoyed or, you know, aggressive about is, is the people that just want to hide behind the word woke. And really, it's just you saying I'm ignorant or I'm not curious enough to wonder what other people's lives are like or why they'd want to be that way or choose to do the decisions they do. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's not 
just just because just something's different or someone's different does not give you the right to just start having a go at them or having a go at any sort of thing that wants to be at least inclusive to them, especially when the series has been doing that since Dragon Age Origins. So, yeah, sorry for the rants. You know what I mean, people? To the, to the usual viewers, thank you for watching. Um, to anybody who's found this content and thought, you know what? Because um, I, I am not a ranty person. I don't really have a go at people like this or get angry or lose my temper. I just felt that this video I just had to make because I'm really getting sick of everything I find that's really good or, you know what I mean, or has quality there. Just getting pushed down through a sewer just because somebody's just ignorant and wants to find a reason to get angry or just follows these absolute fucking spaz accounts that just want to, you know, bait views, farm views, Farm your time. Actually, you know what I mean? F waste your time watching crap that adds nothing to the surface other than hate and you just joining in. Where, like, it, it'll, it can close companies, this, you know what I mean? Where you just fucking ruin it. It ruins shows. It ruins films. It ruins so much because these companies look to our feedback. So when you're just randomly hating stuff because you are that ignorant... And can't just open your mind a bit. I'm not like, you know what I mean? Like, ignorant isn't like an insulting thing where you're stuck with that forever. You can change that by opening your mind a bit. And that's all I'm just trying to put this video point across. So I'm sorry if I've, you know, insulted you at some point in this. This is just generally, you know what I mean? It's just generally my point of view. You are, you are free to use your point of view, considering that half of these people just post fake crap reviews on these sites and it's probably already metacritic and all that or whatever it is rotten tomatoes getting farmed with reviews going this is the worst game ever one out of ten one out of ten and it's just like really that's a one out of ten game i can make a big list of one out of ten games don't make me do that don't make me make that video because it will and you'll just look like a bigger dickhead so yeah People, please subscribe if you like the video. Please subscribe if you want to see the content that's coming forward with Dragon Age Railguard. Because it is going to be a fun playthrough. Oh my god. Why did these trains have to go this time? Can they not get a fucking life? Ah, oh, damn. The people that must leave bad reviews on Steam must be people that run the trains this time. Okay, the train's gone, so we need to end this quickly. Leave a sus subscribe if you like the video, if you want to watch future videos, if you want to watch the Veilguard stream or playthrough, because I'm definitely finishing that. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And sorry for the out of focus camera. My camera wants to bite me in the ass because I just had to do this because all these reviews have been annoying me. But yeah, leave a comment if you disagree or if you've got a point that adds other than using the term woke or not Dragon Age enough for me. Because I can understand if you've missed a tactile camera, but that has been gone since Dragon Age Origins. So yeah, people, I hope you have a nice day. I hope you have a great day, an even better week, and a great, great year. CK'd out. Bye.